How is everybody today? Today is October 27th, 2023, and this is Gar the Great and the Forbidden Top Shelf Shine. I wake up from my 20th nap of the day, stretch and yawn. Dad hasn't pet me in a little bit. I wonder where he's gone. Dad! I yell, informing him I want intention. That didn't work. Is he ignoring me? Dad? I scream again. Maybe he didn't hear me. Once more for good measure. Dad? The bedroom door is closed. He's probably sleeping. If this door weren't in the way, he'd hear me better. I think I can reach the handle. I'll give it a try. Bang! Pow! Smack! Oh yeah. He doesn't like it when I do this. Yeah. Oh well. I'll try it again. Bang! Pow! Smack! Dad! I am hungry! Oh, I hear footsteps. He's finally awake. Dad! I'm so happy to see you! He pets me and I rub up against him. As he goes towards my food bowl, I almost chase after him. But remember, Harold might be hungry too. I run to where Harold was before I took my nap, pick him up in my mouth, and bring him with me. He does everything I do. He's my best friend. Dead fills my bowl. I eat, but Harold just watches. I guess he wasn't hungry like I thought. My food tastes a little funny. Harold hasn't had a bath in a while. I let him take a small swim in my water bowl. It's mine, but for Harold, I'll share. I grab Harold out of his bath and take him to dad, who's sitting in his chair. Harold always tastes funny after his baths, but I'm his only form of transportation. Watch Harold for a few minutes, please, I tell dad. I drop Harold at dad's paws. He'll be safe there. Dad always takes good care of him. Now it's time for my morning run. Three laps around the living room. Exercise is important. I fly over my chair and all of my boxes. I blast through dad's legs, slide over the couch, and almost knock the lamp over. Best run yet. But they're always good. I finish my last stash at the window. It's my bath time now. The sunlight pouring through the window is so refreshing. I watch all the humans walk by the window. They never notice me, but I still say hi though. Everyone deserves a good morning or a hello. I grow bored after a while. Maybe a new view will help. I lazily stroll to my chair and climb it. It is the best seat in my house. I don't feel like I'm high enough yet. I will try to jump to the tallest shelf on one of Dad's bookcases. I shake my butt to aim, jump, and then miss the shelf. Oh no! I fall towards the floor. But as always, I land on my feet. Dad? Dad? I call out to him, hoping he saw my fantastic skill. He stays seated in his chair, ignoring me. I don't like that. Dad! I try again. Nothing. I need a different approach. I don't like the way Dad has shelved these lower books. I'll organize them better. I use my claws to drag them out of their home. Oh, perfect! That got his attention. As Dad bends down, I jump onto his back and launch myself like a rocket to the top shelf. I will have to remember that for later. That was fun, I tell Dad as he cleans up all of my hard work. But I'm happy up here and smile down at him in thanks. He scratches my chin and behind my ears I purr in approval. But hold on, I see something on the next bookcase over that looks like a toy to me. I want to claim it as mine. I want to knock it to the floor, to chew on it to play with it. I don't know why dad is keeping it from me. He knows I love treasure and toys. Digging in my claws to brace myself, I stretch out towards the next shelf. Safety is important on an adventure. Should dad buy me a helmet? Nah, I, I don't like things touching my ears. I reach further towards the mysterious object. It shines like nothing I've ever seen. I just need to hook one claw to it, and it'll be mine. Almost there! I can almost reach it! But then I'm lifted into the air. No! Put me down, please! Dad doesn't listen and holds me in his arms. 
He's comfortable, but I don't have time. I need that wonderful sparkling thing I saw. I squirm out of Dad's arms. The cuddles are nice, but I need to think. As I jump to the floor, Dad leaves for another room. So much for an easy way to reach the top shelf again. But there's still someone else who will help. Harold! I run up to him, right where I left him. I need to get back up to the top shelf. Any ideas? Harold remained quiet. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank too. We both thought about it for a little bit longer. I've got it. It's going to be dangerous, so I want you to stay here. I don't want you getting hurt, okay, Harold? Harold looks at me with worry in his eyes. No, trust me. I can do it by myself. I run as fast as I can towards the shelves, and when I'm close, I leap as high as any adventure ever has. My front claws dig into the wood, but my back paws can't find a hold. I swing back and forth, scratching and clawing, trying to get my back legs high enough. My front claws start to slip. I'm really in trouble. Dad! I need help! I scream. 